Wizard skating has been around for less than 10 years, but there's already so many interesting things you can do with it. Whether you just want to glide around and get fit, or learn some tricks and push your creativity, there's something there for everyone, and there's a reason it's gaining in popularity all the time. So here's 10 reasons to start wizard skating. All the stunts are performed by professionals. Do not attempt this yourself. Straight out the gate, it's a great way to keep fit and active. Get that water into your system, shovel down a well-balanced, nutritious diet, grab a steady eight hours kip, stretch, and do a little bit of wizard skating, you'll feel like one of them centurions with a nice, like, conditioned mane on the top. It'll be like your body's been given a full MOT, man. Everything will be optimized, man. You'll be a machine. Wizard skating has to be the least stressful cardio you can do. With running, you're just pounding your feet into the ground, rattling your spine loose. Look, I made this nice picture on Strava. Boring. Your wife left you a nice little message on Strava, says it's over, you're dull. Traditional exercise is beige, whereas wizard skating is a kaleidoscope of colours. Once you're done running, you've still got to either run home or walk home. I'm pretty tired, I think I'll go home now. But with wizard skating, once you stop, the wheels will just keep you rolling. It's a two-way exercise relationship. You give a little, it gives you a little bit back. You're also not stuck in a gym, breathing in clouds of other people's sweat and guff. You're outside sucking on fresh air. The world is your gym, and it won't feel like a chore. You'll just be flying around, having a good time, and as a bonus, you're getting fit. If you did want to turn it up a notch, you could go long distance, practice some maneuvers, engage a few core muscles, and all without the impact of other exercises, especially compared to aggressive rollerblading. The body is not always up for being bounced off ledges or thrown downstairs. You keep practicing them toe and heel presses and you'll have calves like Jack Grealish. My granddad used to play football who had big calves. My mom actually has big calves as well. Two. It is absolutely superb for your mental health. Life is chaos. Everything in the news is pure misery. And if your brain's anything like mine, a kennel full of Rottweilers biking the dialogue yes. on, occasionally stopping to go, did I leave the oven on? Sometimes you need a break from all that. And wizard skating's it. Lower the background noise, remove the static from life. Namaste. There's something about effortlessly gliding around that tells your brain, Everything's gonna be all right, you know, like, and the endorphins start to bubble up. It can allow you to be very present in the moment. It can give you, like, motivations. You can set attainable goals with it. This can be anything from learning to go forward, maybe a fakie gazelle or a heel press, and then later on more advanced combinations of moves. You learn how to overcome obstacles, see how all the little movements piece together to make a bigger picture. Wizards getting moves will help you understand the importance of technique and persistence. The more advanced moves are not something you can just like wing easily. It can teach you a lot about determination and it makes the achievements that much more rewarding. It can be physical Sudoku if you want it to be. Best of all, you'll be having fun and doing exercise all at the same time and these mental skills are transferable to all aspects of life. It's up to you what you want to get out of it. It could just be a leisurely break from all the noise and chaos or it could be like a challenge for you, something more to learn. Three, if there's a best style of exam, it's definitely multiple choice. Why? Because you have options. If you're playing Street Fighter, maybe you don't always want to be Eddie Honda. Well, guess what? You've got options. Chung Lee, Ryu, Ken, Dao Sim. Most popular meal for young kids in the UK. Pick and mix, lots of variety. The government recommends like seven fruit and veg a day, not one. And Wizards Getting also has lots of variety. You can go full tech genius glide master 10,000 on a tennis court. You can lean into the more aggressive side of things and go street skating with it, test your skill. They can handle more boisterous terrain than the aggressive skates as well. Maybe you just want to go as fast as you possibly can, try and break like a land speed record. You can do that. Go for a long distance skate. Maybe you're using it as transport. It's a jack of all skating styles and it's good at all of them so you've got those options you can even have a different number of wheels depending on what you want to do with it different frames natural rocker progressive rocker advanced it's a swiss army skate does everything if you're into the videos and you think they're of value you can really help me out by supporting me by either giving me like a like i've got merch you can buy there's a patreon with exclusive videos that kind of stuff channel membership as well it really does help me out and keep me making these things so cheers Four, you can do it on your own. You don't need to rely on other people. 
You don't need another team to turn up to play a game. You don't need to train to get on the team. You can just go and do it. Getting schedules to line up can be quite hard, especially when you get older, like trying to put together a 10,000 piece puzzle of a brick wall. With wizard skating, you decide when and where. All you need is the skates, yourself, and you're off. If you see a window of opportunity during your day, you can jump straight out the thing. It's a great feeling going out there and doing something on your own, not just like sitting there by the phone, just like waiting for it to ring. Maybe you wanna get in some low key practice without anybody else. So the next time you go out, you can surprise them with your nightmare gazelle. Maybe even invent your own move. Absolutely blitz your mate the next time you come out. Where did you learn that? Once you start doing something on your own, you realise it applies to a lot of things, like you don't need anybody else, you're a complete independent person now. The Independence Day movie was just a big metaphor for you, getting out there and doing things on your own. Wizard skating is your key to that. The president fighting aliens, mate, come on. Maybe you're just sick of hearing people talk about how their kid made some art out of dried pasta or how they've got nits. Go out there, get some peace and quiet, enjoy yourself, Stuff the rest of them. It is definitely like top five things to do on your own. Bowling, reading, counting backwards, shadow boxing, and wizard skating. Go wizard skating with your dog, you'd be hurtling. Five, low risk, high reward. Especially compared to aggressive skating, which has an aging demographic who might want to consider like a mid season transfer. You're not in your 20s anymore. You may still feel like you're in your 20s with your ice baths, your stem cells, and zen lifestyle. They may even call you the local Wim Hof. Oh look, there he goes now, Jim Goff. Can you believe he's actually 39? Yeah, I can. He's built like a blamange. You're not young anymore. You can't just be chucking yourself off gaffs or trying to hammer out tricks on rails and ledges willy-nilly. You've got responsibilities and considerations now, right? If you come home battered one more time and you can't help with looking at their kids, your partner's head is gonna spin more than you ever did. Sorry, explain to me again exactly what grind you were trying to do that you now can't carry poor Timmy and Terry. Sorry mate, you're not coming to work again because you split a rail trying a fish brain. This is the second time you're getting sacked this week then mate. Wizard Satan still gets you out of the house, still gives you a challenge and tricks to learn, there's still silly names for manoeuvres and as a measure for progression, you can still get into a whole session battle trying to get a trick and still be buzzing when you finally land it but with a lot less risk of turning yourself into dust in the process. There is some incredibly technical maneuvers you can do, which will take a lot of time and effort, but the satisfaction when you land it will be unbelievable. You could feasibly go wizard skating every day, have an amazing time. If you go aggressive skating for three days in a row post 30, you might spend the rest of the month on a life support machine. If you can string together basic moves in wizard skating, people will be mesmerized and you're gonna feel great. And you've not even left the floor. You're not signing a deal with the devil here to get something out of this. Like even at the most base level of wizard skating, it feels good. You're not Jason Statham, you're Hubert from Hampstead Heath. Six, age doesn't matter. I mean, as long as you've got control of your limbs and you're, like, you're not at either extreme of the uh, age scale, so you're not like a baby or a really, really old person, you just need to pad up and be sensible. There's no pressure to put yourself in dangerous situations to get something out of it. A couple of laps around the block, a stroll through the park, and that's enough to put a smile on your face. And if anyone says, aren't you a little bit too old to be doing that, mate? Zumba's more aggressive. You could rip your arm off doing the Zumba, and I'm sure like 80 or 90 year olds do that. Gliding round like you're a swan. Freedom of movement, that shouldn't have an age limit. Wizard skating is the Tai Chi of rollerblading styles. It's an art, it's a dance, it's rollerblading, all combined into one. Doctors will be recommending it soon for those who are starting to get a little bit like slow. The kind of people who say, aren't you a little bit too old for that, are definitely vapors. Aren't you a little bit human to be pretending to be smoking, like sucking on cookie dough flavored sweat? Seven, it's a solid community. Everything's quite tight knit, probably because it's a newest pursuit, which means there aren't an enormous amount of people doing it. But that does have its benefits and it is growing all the time. If a wizard skater gets a sniff of a new wizard skater in town, you'll be in that WhatsApp group within seconds. You won't even know how they got your number. But a week later, you'll be dunking their baby's head at the uh, christening. You'll be welcoming with open arms. With arms wide open, yeah. <laughs> 
you'll make some great friends, maybe even some lifelong friends. Bumping into another wizard skater in the wild and your, your heart will do a little flutter, man. They'll be waving over to you, trying to like get your attention. Maybe you'll have a chat, go for a little skate. It'd be a beautiful thing. Because there's a fair bit of crossover with aggressive skating, you'll find a community there as well. There's plenty of people that do both, so you'll see them skating together. I mean, that probably applies to any kind of style of rollerblading, really. The outside world definitely can't tell the difference between like wreck, urban, slalom, ag and wizard. So there's no reason to be particular. They all share similar terrain as well. If you can't find an in real life crowd, there's Facebook groups, there's subreddits, there's discords. You'll have loads of internet friends. You can make up a whole new personality if you really want to, live a whole new lifestyle. Like You're probably gonna spend more time talking to them than you do your direct family. Like If they're in another country, that's an IIF, international internet friend. That is your place to stay when you go away. That is your local tour guide to the smoothest courts and patches of concrete around. And it is that kind of community where people do make up, you know? You could just be heading off to Dusseldorf to go like, what's this getting with some guy you've never even met before? Might be a little bit risky, but bet it's gonna be fun though. Eight, you don't even need to be good to have a fun time. You especially don't need to be like a top of the range, elite level wizard skater to get something out of it. Once you've got the basics down, not even maneuvers, just like going forward, stopping and like balance, it's amazing. That was the whole point of wizard skates, to give you the best, simplest experience straight away. Like no breaking time, no adjustments, put the things on, you're having fun. I've been skating around 25 years and I still just love cruising about, especially with the bigger wheels. They glide over like most surfaces with ease and it opens up options of where you can roll. The wizard setup is like a AAA pass. And if you're coming from anti-rocker skates, getting that wizard setup is gonna feel like you're on Aladdin's rug. Going back to it, it's gonna feel like you're skating through bread. You don't need to be doing endless combinations of complex tricks, spinning and doing swivels all over the place. Just skating along without having to think too much about what you're doing or like what the floor surface is like. It's an absolute dream. Nine, it is fun. It is top of the pops. It is socks on a slidey floor, pure. Joy. Because you're strapped into the things, there's a closer connection to your normal range of movement. There's a familiarity there. You're free to kind of do whatever you want, but it's improved because you've got wheels. You can go faster, you can go further, a couple of pumps and you don't even need to try. The things will do the work for you. It's not complicated, it doesn't require much, and it feels brilliant. The freedom of movement also means there's a lot of room for you to be creative and express yourself. There's times where it feels like you're doing the most elegant ice skating, but there's not a sequin in sight and you're on some like council estate. That is a unique feeling. It may not be number one in trending pastimes. It might even be categorized with like shaker weight in terms of like faddy exercises just above those like vibrating belts. But that just means it's not oversaturated. Everyone else is doing Pilates or swimming. Or doing laps in public veruca soup. Ah, no thank you. I've had more people come up to me genuinely interested in what the wizard skating was all about than anything else I've ever done. And especially like, not when you're ag skating, people just think you're kicking the life out of walls. You can make an impression in wizard skating. There's room and there's new enough for you to put your stamp on it. Maybe you can even invent a completely new maneuver. It's hardly like you're gonna come up with a new jogging technique or anything like that. Imagine being part of something where you can actually make like an impact. That's fun. If you ever speak to somebody who used to roll in and then came back, they'll say, it's unreal. Why did I ever stop? And that's within like the first few seconds. That's the first like glide. They are absolutely loving it. It is the one. Your brain is going, this feels good, keep doing this. And your brain knows well more than you do. Nice one, brain, that's a good idea, mate. 10, it's constantly evolving like the moss in your gutters, man. Seeing as it's less than 10 years old and there's endless possibilities, it's changing and developing all the time. It's not stagnant or set in stone like other sports. You could take a bit of time off on holiday for a week, tune back into a bit of widget skating and you're like, what's all this new stuff? What's this? That's, that's a whole new frame. What's going on? There is little danger of you getting bored with it. It's a creative pursuit with a little bit of guidance on maneuvers. You can just let your imagination run wild. Once you go through one door, there's a load of other doors you can go through. There's a flipping cat flap over there you can sneak through, go sideways, keep them guessing. It's like that computer game, Altered Beast. You just carry on evolving, getting more and more turbo. Even the equipment in wizard skating is evolving. As people started to use the original setup, tricks started to develop that were unique to wizard skating and styles started to emerge. So the products changed to match these new requirements. These enhancements then allow people to continue to push 
further forwards and more avenues for exploration opened up for the users. As I said before, it's small enough that you may even play a role in it branching off in a whole new direction nobody's even thought of yet. A couple of bonus points. Wizard skating can take you to places you'd never normally end up. Even with cycling and running, as much as you can go off the beaten track, it's an A to B kind of thing, normally just like hammering it through and there's places you tend to go to do that. Of course you have typical areas for wizard skating as well, like a core, any smooth surface. But given its creative side, the ability to roll on a range of surfaces and that there's tricks, there's more possibilities. You'll find yourself looking for interesting environments and unusual obstacles. You'll go hunting for unique layouts that allows you to push what you can get out of the equipment and your skill set. You'll find yourself in parts of town you've never been to before, despite living there like your whole life. Before you know it, you'll be all over Google Maps, like spanning the whole city, every nook and cranny, man. Like, that feeling of, oh, I wonder what's just around that corner, never been there before, starts to become stronger and stronger. You just go off on one. The force is strong with this one. Another bonus. If you're an aggressive inline skater, doing a bit of wizard skating is only going to make your skating better overall. Even just mucking about on the things, you'll start to understand the limitations of skates better. You'll learn how to actually skate and improve your control, which is only going to lead to more confidence and allow you to put your own style on it. You know those videos when somebody has like a common household appliance and it's like, actually, you're meant to use it like this and you're like, no way, I've been using it wrong for like 20 years or something. That's the same with wizard skates. You're like, oh my goodness, this is how you're actually meant to use these things. This is how you're meant to skate. There's buttons on your control pad that you're actually not using properly, or you just tend to avoid because you're not really sure how to use it properly. And now you found a button on the back of the control pad as well. Do a bit more wizard skating and your aggressive skating will start to look flawless. Everybody else is looking like regular beans on toast. You're looking like beans on toast with like Worcestershire sauce and like maybe a little bit of cheese or something. There's people out there not even toasting the bread properly. Wizard skating is absolutely brilliant and you can get out of it whatever you want. There's versatility there, not just in like, you know, it being open and quite young, but also in the equipment. The equipment will allow you to do loads of different things. So uh, give it a go. Massive shout out to my patrons and channel members. Without your support, I simply couldn't do this, so I really appreciate it. Here's a couple of other videos you can watch and I'll see you again soon. Spot your dog.